Yo guys, how's it going? Hope you're all well and welcome to another episode here on the channel. Now in this episode we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We've kind of been focusing a lot lately on cargo running, so I just want to push that to one side and kind of mix it up a little bit. Uh, we're going to be doing something called Risky Salvage Missions. So yeah, without further ado guys, let's get stuck into it. Right guys, so to do these Risky Salvage Missions we need to go into our Moby Glass and down into Contracts Manager. And then what we do there is go into the Personal tab and then we go down to Salvage. And then there'll be like a list of them here. Now, some of these will be over at Hurston. So if you want to do them at Hurston, make sure that you are over there because um, you don't want to be having to quantum jump from, you know, Crusader all the way over to there. Um, so at the top here, we've got the freelancer and the moles have nothing in them. It's only the freelancers, uh, the constellation classes uh, that you really want. I haven't found anything yet in a Cutlass Black, but I will keep trying. And, and if you have found boxes in a Cutlass Black, please let me know in the comments below. Most of the time I find boxes, they are in Freelancers, but I did find a massive score once in an Aquila, but only once. Um, so these actually cost 10k each. So yeah, it's a little bit of a risk. I mean, it's called a risky salvage mission, but it's not a risk in that regard, I suppose. It's more a risk of if you have 29 minutes to, or well, 30 minutes actually to get there and in theory salvage the actual ship physically using a vulture or whatever um, but we ain't going to be doing that what we're looking for is cargo so if we click on the 10,000 and we're going to head straight over there we'll just untrack and track just to make sure now the idea is we'll head over here for the you know for the first one but obviously if I don't find it straight away I will just go um you know I won't bore you with the whole constantly searching until we get one I'll just uh keep doing the missions until I eventually get one and then come back to you guys. Um, oh, we're going to have to duck underneath this uh, big asteroid here. There we go. <laughs> Didn't want to smack into that, did we? That would have been a great start to the video, boys and girls. Alright, so let's head over to this freelancer. Alright, so now that we're here, just put our cheeky little ping. And then this is where it is down here. Now let's go and have a look and see whether it, this freelancer has some nice juicy cargo for us now hopefully so but there's several different boxes to look out for now some of them are blue and white you want to take those ones um, there's some green boxes you also want to take those ones those ones are, well unless it's pollen those ones are valued quite highly um, and then there's some sort of gray ones which are basically ore now the ore you can't sell anywhere so you need to just discard those unfortunately and we're coming in a little bit hot here there we go so you'll get this message up, and as you can see at the top of your screen, you've got an estimated time till arrival. Now that basically means how long it will take for the security to come over here and, and essentially shoot you, I suppose. So you've got that length of time to actually salvage this ship, but as I say, we're not actually uh, salvaging. I mean, I, I suppose we are technically. We're salvaging the cargo in a roundabout way, but but yeah. Um, stick my lights on. Just quickly shoot the doors. And there is something in there, so it doesn't look like a lot. Two boxes, maybe? I am actually in a hull A, so not exactly the most, you know, defended ship uh, out there. But it's easy to strap the boxes to the side of it. If we just go ahead and extend the cargo spindle. There we go. I absolutely never tire of this animation. It's absolutely amazing. Look at that. It's, it's just... Yeah, <laughs> I like it. I absolutely love that animation. I think it's, it's amazing. Right, anyways, enough of that. Out the seat we go. Make sure I've got my helmet on, because, you know, that would also be a very disastrous start to the uh, to the video, wouldn't it? We go out into space and, and, and die. <laughs> that would be great. Right, exit ship. We've got 27 minutes to basically recover these three boxes. I could scan the ship, but unfortunately my scanning seems to be broken at the moment. I don't know why. Um, so you guys could scan it using uh, V on your keyboards, um, but for, for me, for some reason, I don't know why, but it's just not working properly. So it's slightly annoying. So yeah, we've got a couple of boxes here. Now this box, if I just look away, so that's got brown on it, so that's actually uh, scrap metal, so it's not really worth anything at all. And the other one's probably, very likely, to be processed food, which also is not worth a lot. What you're looking for is things like maize and things like that. Now normally... Would scan and for some reason there we go. I say for some reason it's not giving me a snap point, but it automatically did it anyway, so that's absolutely awesome. See, it's great. I can just literally snap them to the side, nice and quick. In theory, there we go. Now we'll just jump out here. 
get back in the ship and then we move on to the next mission now that one there didn't exactly yield much results what we will do though is quickly just go over to the next mission for you guys to and hope that there's got something in it but if this one doesn't or it has pretty much similar to what we've just got from this mission here then uh, I will um, well I will, like I say I won't keep going mission to mission and, and bore you guys I'll just come back when we found some cargo and I will tell you exactly how many sort of missions we activated to sort of get to that point so we've done one so far uh, so we go back into our Moby glass here and what we'll do is go back into the contracts manager back to personal let's see what we've got down here salvage so we've got a cutlass back I'm going to reject that one I'm going to accept the Aquila all right and we'll abandon that one track that one and yeah let's go and it's over here on the other side of the planet or well, the moon shall I say so we'll head over to OM3 and then you know, we should, it doesn't really take long. Every sort of ship is in the same sort of area. So, yeah, you'll be going back and forth, mission to mission, quite quickly. Um, obviously, it's just a bit of a risk in the sense of... Um, okay, that was the wrong going point to go to, I suppose. Give me another one. Where are you? But it's a bit of a risk in the sense of, like, you know, you're spending money to try and make this money. Um, so, yeah, it can be, a bit, can be a bit annoying in that regard. That's the one we want, OM5. But once you once you find a score, once you find those boxes in the ship, oh, you'll make some money. You really will. Um, obviously, it's a risk because we've got to go to a scrapyard. These missions are kind of illegal, hence why you've got the time on them. Um, but you'll be fine. I've you know you can uh, you can uh, you can abandon them. You can go into them. You're not you're not going to get a crime stat. It will be absolutely fine, unless of course you're there past the 28 minutes, which. Really, you don't need that much time to do these at all, so... Alright, where are you? There you are. There we go. Whoa. Hello, asteroids all just spawning in together. Now, sometimes you get lucky and find other ships out here. Got very lucky yesterday at Michael 5. There was, like, loads of C2... Well, loads of Aquilas and a C2, I believe. And they all had cargo in them, and... Yeah, we made an absolute fortune out of that. Thankfully, we managed to sell it before a 30k, because, you know, <laughs> it's, it's always fun when that happens, right? All right, let's move up to this Aquila. And also slow down, because we're overshooting this a little bit. There we go. The bottom of it. Beautiful. This should be a lot easier for me soon. I've actually ordered some joysticks, everyone. So I am really looking forward to them. I might have to do an, an opening and a review video on those. Um, we've got the uh, X56 Logitech. Only because I got like a code off. So should make my flying a little bit smoother and easier, hopefully. Right, so there's a couple of boxes in there. But again, I think they're going to be... Yeah, it's like scrap and, and the same thing. Scrap and processed food. All right, guys. So this is basically what we are looking for, though. But in the sense of not these two boxes. <laughs> so if if this is filled up with like green boxes and what have you, um, and, and various other white and blue ones, then yeah, you're laughing. But uh, right. So what I'll do, guys, is I'll get back to you when we do find something. All right, guys. So we have found an Aquila here. And as you can see, there is a lot of boxes in it. Um, it took me a little bit longer than normal. Normally, it would take me sort of about between sort of, I don't know, for every five to seven ships, maybe eight ships before I find this cargo. I reckon this took me maybe 11 missions before I finally found it. So yeah, I guess Risky Salvage is definitely uh, a good title for it, <laughs> especially when you're spending so much money um, to get all these boxes. Hopefully though, there'll be some juicy boxes among all this lot and uh, we can, well, the EVAing is still broken, lovely. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll find some nice juicy boxes here. So these gray ones at the front, all ore, we don't want them at all, so we can just discard them into space. You can't sell ore anywhere, unfortunately, at the moment. You can't refine it, you can't do anything with it. I don't know why, but uh, that's just kind of the way it is at the minute. Uh, so we get rid of all of them. So it's just basically these grey boxes here. We don't want them at all. It's a waste of time taking them. So we get rid of all of those. don't see a green box amongst this lot, though, unfortunately, but still, it's not a bad-looking score, considering... The the green boxes can be worth quite a uh, quite a bit, unless, of course, as I said, it's pollen, and in which case it's worth absolutely nothing at all. But uh, yeah, let's let's take these boxes anyway and 
There's quite a bit here to be fair. Oh, there's more at the top. I didn't even notice that. So this, this, they've stacked three high. So there's actually a lot more boxes in this than I thought. That's nice. You, you think I would have noticed that when I was taking the scrap? Uh, sorry, the ore out of the ship and just discarding it into space that they were actually dropping. But yeah, look at that. There's a lot of boxes in there. That is nice. This is a good score. This is. Okay, so what's this? Uh, we throw you away. We don't need you. All right. I like this. This is good. This is a lot of boxes. This is nice. This is the only. This is only the second time as well that I have found boxes on an Aquila um, or a Constellation class ship. Normally, I only find two boxes at most. But yeah, this is the second time I found an absolute fortune. We'll take the scrap metal anyway, because you know why not? Might as well take everything that we can sell. Now, some of this stuff we'll sell at Brio. Uh, and some of it we will sell at Grim Hex. Now, unfortunately, as I said earlier, my scanner is broken, so I don't really know what's in the boxes until I get to the uh, to the point of sale. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's find out. There should be some money's worth in this anyway, hopefully. Um, all right, so I don't want to bore you with uh, the whole process of loading up, so uh, I'll get back to you uh, in a second when we're done. All right, guys, so we finished unloading the Aquila, and as you can see, we have quite a lot of cargo. There are a couple of green boxes on there, so what we're going to do now is head over to Brio on Daymar and sell this stuff. So, yeah, I will uh, get back to you when we get there, guys. All right, guys, so we have just arrived at Brio. Now, bearing in mind, this is a non-armistice zone, so someone here could uh, technically steal your cargo. They could shoot you. Um, it looks like we've already had someone come here and crash here for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, I'm finding quite a lot of, uh, a lot of people... Uh, crashing their ships i don't know why this is uh, happening i guess over invictus there's a lot of new players i suppose that probably does explain it all right let's just make sure that there's nobody here just checking the corners we look like we are good so yeah we can go ahead and sell all this stuff now let's just put this gun away because it does kind of interfere a little bit with the screen so let's go on to the commodities here and see whether we can drop this down it takes a little bit of time to respond there we go we want the hull a and as you can see here, some of these boxes are worth an absolute fortune, 220k, 112k for weevil eggs, 185k, for, uh, sorry, it's 185 for the unit. Yeah, so we, we did all right here, to be fair. We've made some money, 112k for that. Let's go ahead and sell that. Some of these boxes are usually worth 166k or more. So yeah, we've, we've done all right with that, to be fair. We've done all right. Not too bad at all. We should probably sell the most expensive ones first, to be fair, before somebody comes along and takes them all off of us. But yeah, we've done all right. So that's that's decent money. You know, I probably spent, I mean, I don't even know, it must have been about 10 missions before I finally found all this. So definitely a lot longer than it would normally take me. Um, but yeah, I'm, quite, I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. We've done all right. The scrap metal is probably not worth taking in the end, actually, when you think about how much that's worth. But yeah, the rest of it, I mean, unfortunately, one of the boxes was uh, tree pollen, so it's not really worth anything, unfortunately. That's one of the green boxes. Uh, but normally the green boxes are worth the most or the least by the looks of it. So, yeah, take that as you want. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we've done all right here. We've done all right here. We probably spent, what, uh, I don't even know if it was 10 missions. So, yeah, about 100, 100k. Yeah, about 100k we spent. So, it's not bad. We've made that money back and a lot more. Um it, you know, and, and everything's in the same area. Yeah, it can be time consuming to a degree, but you haven't got very far to go between ships to sort of sell. Now, there's a lot of stuff here we need to go sell at Grim Hex, um, but I am, it's not really worth a lot, and I'm not going to go and bore you with that. We've sold the most profitable stuff, and that's kind of what I was here to showcase, to be fair. So, yeah, um, there's not really much else to add. I mean, it, the missions, obviously, as they say, they're, they're risky, but it's the idea of, being, of it being risky is. Obviously, you've got 30 minutes to salvage the whole thing before security get you. Not risky in the sense of you might not find any cargo. <laughs> but uh, I guess really the title works both ways. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm waffling on, guys, as I usually do in all of these videos. And as I keep saying over and over and over again. But yeah, guys, I hope you really enjoyed that video. And uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Give it a subscribe or give us a subscribe. It'd be absolutely greatly appreciated. Uh, we've hit some amazing heights re re you know, recently. And... That's thanks to you guys. So, yeah, thank you very much, everyone. And, uh, yeah, stay safe, take care, and I will see you in the next video.